Turn it up to 11, gangsters. Turn it up to 11. All right. Sea of Thieves Season 10, ele or 11, official content update video. Let's do this. Let us react. The seas. What In Sea of Thieves Season 11, the waves of change are rolling across the seas. With a whole new way to embark on voyages, tall tales, and more, the fantastical pirate sandbox of Sea of Thieves is at your fingertips like never before. All right, hold on. Let's let's take it play by play. What are we seeing here? Discover tab. The Sea of Thieves is filled with possibilities. Check back here to discover its features. Discover voyage, tall tale, and liked vo liked voyages. What is? Okay, we'll find out. Or this fundamental change to how you Whoa. play Sea of Thieves. Hold on, hold on. Let's look. Let's... This fun. Okay. Buried treasure, riddle, treasure vault, medley, raid, vo raid voyage, uh, tutorial, huh? Promotions available. Distinction, hoarder of first distinction. It tells you how long the quest, oh, uh, how long the quest will take you to do what you're gonna be doing. Okay. Fundamental change to how you play wow. Sea of Thieves also brings with it a treasure trove of new rewards, new loot to discover. Ooh, look at that treasure chest. It's like a crystal treasure chest and a ashen treasure chest of the same variety. And major changes to trading company progression. So hold tight as we set a course to discover all of the incredible new features of Sea of Thieves Season 11. All right, what are we going underwater for? Season 11 introduces a new way to play Sea of Thieves with a complete overhaul to how you begin your adventures. Using the quest table and our newly redesigned menu, you'll be able to select the voyage or tall tale that you want to embark on, and then either sail or dive straight to it. Oh, okay. So, so the vo okay. So the voyages you can select from your quest table now. It seems like you don't have to go buy them anymore from from you know the the people in in town or whatever. I like this. Want to embark on? And then either sail or dive straight, dive straight to, it. to it. Diving will see you briefly travel below the waves. Okay. Like dives. Before surfacing right next to where you need to be. Dude. <laughs> I may finally get my my animal uh my animal deliveries done, guys. Dude, for real though, like, oh, it's such a chore. This allows you and your crew to start the exact experiences that you want to play and get to them quicker than ever before. Let's go. I'm in. The new quest table menu has been designed to showcase the best of what Sea of Thieves has to offer. And this begins with the Discover tab. This will be tailored to your progression, highlighting recently unlocked voyages or explaining how to achieve the next step on your journey to Pirate Legend. Already done it'll it. offer suggestions for what sort of voyage you could do next, and it'll even show what time-limited community events are currently active. Oh, yes. Yes, please actually tell me when uh, even... Gold Rush Hour is. Because <laughs> I can't read the, the other time that they give me. Show what time-limited community events are currently active. No more missed golden glories. The quest table I menu... Do will also show you which voyages you can embark on for each of the trading companies. These voyages will be available at any time. So if you just want to go on a short buried treasure voyage, it'll always be there. This is so good for like players who are like, I have a lot of things I gotta do, but I, and I only got an hour to play Sea of Thieves. Uh, how can I play Sea of Thieves in an hour? Uh, spoiler alert, you can't really currently, but with this, it looks like you can. So that's awesome. Good accessibility and good for commendation hunters like me. And for the first time ever, completing a voyage will see you immediately rewarded with a small portion of the reputation that you'd normally receive for cashing your loot in at an outpost. Wait, what? This means that even for the first time ever, Completing a voyage will see you immediately rewarded with a small portion of the reputation that you'd normally receive for cashing oh, your nice. loot in at an outpost. This means that even if you choose to dive to another voyage or log off for the night, you'll still earn something for your efforts. That's good. 
you know. And speaking of trading company reputation. That takes, that takes, still though, I can see how that's controversial because a lot of people are going to be like, well, wait a minute. How are they, you know, they're not supposed to be rewarded. We're supposed to get their loot. Well, you know, they can still be rewarded something. And also, uh, they're raising, what? Hold on a second. A hundred? Uh, looks like they're raising stuff to a hundred. Okay. You can now work your way up beyond level 75 in most of the companies, all the way to level 100 where you'll wow. earn a distinction for your efforts. As well as unlocking an exciting selection of new rewards along the way. Hmm. Got a little clock there. These, these are cool little things. I like this. I like I like it. Did he say beyond? When did where did he say beyond? Oh, he did say beyond. Hold on. Cure me up beyond level beyond 75 down. in most of the companies. All the way to level 100, where you'll earn a distinction for your efforts. As well as unlocking an exciting selection of new rewards along the way, earning a distinction will unlock rings for your pirate. What? Oh, finally we get some some uh, finger bling. Let's go. And earning further distinctions nice. will allow you to festoon your fingers with even more polished projections of your piratical prowess. Heck yeah. Trading company voyages have been I want the uh I want the uh, Jack Sparrow rings. That's what I want being rebalanced to be more rewarding than ever with loot that's exclusive to the voyages. These loot types won't be found anywhere else in the Sea of Thieves. Oh. And cashing this loot in will work towards unlocking the cartographer's pistol okay. and blunderbuss. Stuff to grind, let's go. Emergent treasures like those found in shipwrecks or from message and bottle voyages have had a refresh as well. These new kingly treasures are worth a pretty penny and seeking them out is definitely worth your while. Wait, okay, so you get them just from, from voyages. Have been rebalanced to be more Trading company voyages. So if you do the voyages instead of just finding the loot, you get this better stuff. Okay, so it pushes more people to do voyages. Warding the never with loot that's exclusive to the voyages. These loot types won't be found anywhere else in the Sea of Thieves. And cashing this loot in will work towards unlocking the cartographer's pistol and blunderbuss. Emergent treasures like those found in shipwrecks or from message and bottle voyages have had a refresh as well. These new kingly treasures are worth a pretty penny, and seeking them out is definitely worth your while. As each treasure returned to the trading companies will get you one step closer to unlocking the cartographer's cutlass and eye of reach. Nice. While you now won't need to purchase your voyages from the trading company representatives on the outposts, you'll still need to visit them to purchase your next promotion for the company. While you're here, you can visit a new, more unified trading company. Uh, company shop. Oh, cosmetics for the company. That is nice. Okay. Uh, resource crates and fireworks. Commodities. This is a lot more streamlined. I like it. Um, I like that more than the, like, uh, you know, select the, 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 the verbiage in the, in the text or whatever. This is a lot more like upfront and understandable company store, which brings all of the themed cosmetics I from that trading company like it. into one place. It makes it a less of a mess of like going into the different shops and being like, well, I got, I want that merchant thing or, or I just want, I want to make sure I can buy all the merchant stuff and let's buy all that stuff. And then we could go buy all the order soul stuff. And this is, this is a breath of fresh air. As well as diving to voyages and tall tales, as you grow your reputation for the trading companies, you'll unlock the ability to dive to specific world events from shrines Wait, and sea what? forts. Hold up. As you what grow your say? reputation for the trading companies, you'll unlock the ability to dive to specific world events. Wait, what? I gotta read that again or hear that again. Voyages, Voyages and tall tales. As you grow your reputation for the trading companies, you'll unlock the ability to dive to specific world events. Oh, I see. So maybe it's like, maybe you have to hit a certain level or something before you can do that. Dude, that's going to make PvP even, uh, that's, that's going to help PvP. That's what it's going to do. It's going to be kind of, uh, controversial, but. And sea forts to ghost fleet battles and ashen winds encounters. 
These will unlock as you progress through progress the, ranks through the ranks. of the trading companies. So you'll gradually be able to take on the world event of your choosing on demand. Oh, wait a minute. You'll be doing these raid voyages on behalf of the trading companies. So all of the loot that you earn will be related to that trading company. Oh, I see. So you're essentially spawning in the world event. It's not like, oh, there's a world event over there. Let's get there quick. It's, hey, let's go do a specific world event for specific loot for our specific uh, trading company. That makes more sense to me. And for the captains of the Sea of Thieves, as you progress with the trading companies, you can net some fancy themed ship crests too. A word of caution though. While you can go on your merry way diving between voyages, tall tales, and world events, any loot that you have on board will be left behind ah. when you do so. So before you dive, you yep. better take your precious haul back to an outpost, They're balancing or it. it'll be forever lost to the sea. Or get wrecked. For players who are new to the game, or if you're a salty sea dog who wants a reminder of the basics, there are new tutorials for each of the trading companies. The Pirate Lord will explain the new quest table menu and guide you through the ins and outs of each voyage type. And if you ever want to experience these again, they are now replayable through the quest table. Mm. And of course, with the launch of Season 11, there's another 100 levels of... Alright, let's take a look. What do we got? What do we got here that's... Uh stands out anything i remember last time we spotted he-man hair that was pretty neat get in loser we're going shopping <laughs> yeah yeah uh nothing really that's oh hold on hold on there's a little lantern here this kind of looks interesting is that a... i don't know let's see Stunning maybe they'll show it to unlock including the cunning serpent clothing set Ooh, snake the swift winged wayfarer makeup and tattoo ah, Medusa. and the swift winged wayfarer ship set cool. pirate legends can also indulge in a little cosplay ah. with Belle's mysterious goth mommy cosplay let's go dress and briggsy's weather beaten gloves there are new emissary rewards too with some rather fetching lanterns and speaking trumpets and if you're browsing the outpost stores, you'll find the newly added Maestro clothing set. The ideal getup for melodically minded marauders. There's also a brand new plunder pass, available as an optional plunder pass, where you can earn some dazzling premium items, including the well-traveled trader clothing and the well-traveled trader collector ship set. And over in the Pirate Emporium, we've got the Boar Hunter ship set, weapon Boars. set, Oh, it's like my wolf set, but it's uh, my wolf, uh, my wolf clothing, except a boar. I'm going to stick with the wolf. You can also start your journey to peak physical pirate perfection with the... Okay, okay. All right, here we go, guys. This is for us. <laughs> we, got, we got jumping jacks and push-up emotes. Now I can do them with my pirate. Okay. Your journey to peak physical pirate perfection with the new exercise emote bundle. Uh, you better believe I'm getting these. You better believe I'm getting these. And you can celebrate the start of a new year with the collector's lunar festival dragon sale. Pirate aerobics. Oreo, st Oreo st set still the best. You're right, Floops. I still sail with that hole, man. Just so you know. The Hamlet ship head. set. Oh, that's a good idea for a guild ship, Matarad. Hamlet. Plus, you can grab the Paradise Garden Eye of Reach for free. With the new features added in Season 11, you now have more control over each session of Sea of Thieves. So get ready to explore the seas the way that you want to, and dive into a rebalanced and more rewarding experience with Sea of Thieves Season 11. January 23rd. The game, only like a week ago, the game said four weeks away, and then now it's like only it's literally a week away. There's lit, it's literally next Tuesday. <laughs> uh, I'm very excited, actually. This uh, this is gonna be a cool season. Um, they didn't mention anything about Chest of Fortunes, um, but uh, I'm sure that's it's a season nine thing. They're gonna throw it in there with a different vo uh, different world event and whatnot. So not to worry there. But um, as far as uh, as far as the um, uh, the main point of this season, 
like so much of so much of your time feels just wasted sailing around and like just to get to the next spot like you spend more of your time in game sailing to where you want to go than actually doing stuff at the place you want to go and i think this is a fantastic uh new patch for the game that um that gets that saves your precious time because you know excuse me there are so many like there's so much time that is just wasted just sailing you know what so many more things i could i could be doing than just sailing doing stuff knocking out commendations i'm curious how this is going to work with like uh with like animal deliveries and whatnot like because i really want to uh i really want to cap off my uh my animal animal deliveries uh for the merchants but i wonder if we're actually going to get some new voyages in there or if they're just like relocating where everything goes and how to get there and the different types of loot that you get there uh i'm excited to for the hundred grind though it'll be fun uh and i'm slightly glad that i haven't completed uh everything that we have as far as like the training companies currently because uh because it looks like i'm gonna be grinding a lot more anyway so probably uh i hope i i mean i'm sure there's gonna be new commendations uh for all the new loot uh hopefully it's not as like awful as some of the other ones are that take forever because i've kind of got a backlog so and i am a completionist i'm trying to get it all done so but you know that's just me I'm excited. I think this is going to be a great uh, upgrade for those uh, who don't have a lot of time to play Sea of Thieves. And for those who do play a lot of time, uh, spend a lot of time playing Sea of Thieves, that uh, it's going to be uh, even more worth our while to play the game. So I am excited. Uh, the Time Saver, the Time Saver um, patch, Time Saver Season. So somebody in chat says, hey, daddy, are you free, daddy? I don't know you, <laughs> and I am not a father. <laughs> but welcome in. Welcome in. Good to have you. Uh, now, this video that we would just watch is not everything that's coming. Um, of course, we've got um, industry-leading anti-cheat. So we can get excited for that. They're going to drop that just one day at the drop of a hat. They're not going to tell us when it's coming. They're just going to drop it. And then we've got uh, new new guns potentially in 2024. I'm excited for that. Or new weapons. So This feels very much like uh, if Sea of Thieves had... Uh, C if there was Sea of Thieves uh, 2, like a sequel, this is how they would make the voyages better. And it looks like they're doing it now. So let's go. All right, guys. Let's get on to some Sea of Thieves. Oh, again, guys, we are doing a charity. If you have not, uh, are not aware, um, here's our charity info. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the milestones. We're raising, we're raising charity for Charity Water all throughout the month of January. Uh, we have a bunch of milestones. We are currently $275 raised of $500. Um, and we've got milestones all along the way. Let's go over those again. It is a new week. I'd like to go over this at least once a week. Um, okay. So, uh, Lethal Company with viewers at 25. We did that. It was fun. We're actually going to do some more of that this Friday for Floops and I's birthday stream. So, we're going to do that with viewers, uh, with more company and, and, um, and late company mods. Uh, so we get more people in. Uh, sea of Thieves Keg Stack Ram Strat stream. I'm actually planning on doing this on the day before. Uh, on the last day. I'm going to do it on the last day of season 10, I think. Go out with a bang. We'll do something. We'll make it a, make it a fun event of some kind. Uh, Banjo-Kazooie playthrough coming soon. Probably after this, uh, this stream. Um, one up sour challenge. We did it. It was very sour party animals with viewers. That is also queued up and ready to go. I just got to pick a day for it. Um, star Wars Jedi survivor playthrough. We're going to be doing that soon. Uh, that's going to be probably after, after party animals, after Banjo Kazooie, after the keg stack stream, uh, cadence of Hyrule. I actually ordered that and it's coming. It should be here today or tomorrow. I'm excited for it. 
Uh, we'll we'll probably do that after Jedi Survivor, maybe before, maybe before, because we also do play uh, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom quite a bit, and I want to th throw some more Zelda content in there. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077, that is our next goal at 300, followed by Alan Wake, Doom 2016, Jump King, Lies of P, and then Mystery at 500 plus, aka I don't know yet. We got to hit 500. <laughs> Winter Fox is like, what's the water thing? <laughs> so the water thing so charity water charity water is a charity they bring uh clean water all around the world to places that do not have clean water to drink uh and also bring sanitation uh solutions to those places as well a lot of third world countries uh with like not even like no clean water at all they have to like drink out of like nasty still water ponds and stuff can't be doing that. So uh, they're a, an awesome, credible uh, charity that brings water all around uh, to places that need it, build water wells and all this stuff. So uh, that is the charity. If you'd like to give to the charity, uh, there my sub button is replaced with a charity button. You can also sub to me through there as well, but um, it leads you first to the charity. Um, if you donate to the charity, it's 100% of what you donate goes directly to the charity. I don't take a cut. Twitch doesn't take a cut. And then on top of that, 50% of all my stream revenue for the month of January will also go towards the charity. So uh, if, if anybody gives me bits, subs, or tips, uh, I'll take half of that at the end of the month and pledge that towards the charity as well. So that'll go on top of direct donations. Yeah, uh, basically for short, uh, for anybody who is just popping in, Sea of Thieves Season 11 is going to be all about rings. You can now have rings. <laughs> but also, it's all about uh, every uh, every trading company's level 100 goes up to level 100 now. Uh, we can now um, do uh, go directly to voyages, uh, like dive under the water and go directly to where we need to go to save time and cut back on travel time. Because travel time is the biggest bane of this game. Uh, I think this is a very refreshing time for new players to pop in. Uh, also, how in the world, 91,000 ancient coins? Who is that? Banana Larina, apparently. <laughs> Saw a little bit before bed. Nice. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, this is going to make commendation hunting a lot easier and quicker and less of a a time sink for me. Um, and we get rings and new loot to turn in, new achievements, all that fun stuff. So it's going to be a good time. I like it. It's going to be good for people who don't have a lot of time to play this game, which is a huge population of people. So season 11, I feel like is going to breathe some fresh air into, into Sea of Thieves. 